Top 10 Killer Butchers When the term killer butcher is said, what mental picture does it bring to mind? Most people have an image of an evil-minded creature capable of atrocious acts that regular people cannot carry out. Or they have an idea of a person with a psychopath that turns to murder to sate their terrible impulses. Although there is some truth to this way of thinking, there is much more to a serial killer than meets the eye. But before we start the video, welcome to Only Facts TV. Here, we share the most interesting videos. And in today's video, we're going to talk about top 10 killer butchers. So if you want more of that, leave a like and subscribe to our channel so that more people can enjoy these. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. Number 10. Andre Chikatilo Andre murdered more than 50 young women, and children were sexually raped killed and dismembered by the Russian serial murderer Andrei Chikatilo between 1978 and 1990. Chikatilo used a knife to stab and hack his victims to death. Nine was the age of one of the youngest. Do you know that Chikatilo acknowledged that the fact that he could only experience pleasure by stabbing women made it challenging to control his powerful cravings to kill? The names Butcher of Rostov, Red Ripper, and Rostov Ripper were given to Chikatilo. Despite admitting to a total of 56 horrifying killings, he was only tried for 53 of them. He was given the death penalty and murdered by firing squad in 1994. Coming in at number 9, Albert Fish. Albert Fish was practically a serial murderer. He is seriously insane, and that's why he goes by the names of the Brooklyn Vampire, the Moon Maniac, the Werewolf of Wisteria, the Gray Man, and the Boogeyman. Fish was charged with raping, killing, and cannibalizing three children in the early 1900s and was pronounced guilty. However, he boasted that he had children in every state and that he had murdered more than 100 children. The fact that Fish wrote a letter to the mother of 10-year-old Grace Budd is particularly bizarre. The letter described how over the course of nine days, he had enticed the little girl, strangled her, and then sliced her into pieces to eat. Number 8. Joe Kim Kroll We have Joe Kim Kroll between 1955 and 1976. The German serial killer Joe Kim Kroll killed at least 14 people, including children. Kroll would have sex with his victims' corpses after strangling them with his bare hands then chomp them into pieces to consume. It's interesting to note that a neighbor's complaint about a plumbing issue led to Kroll's eventual capture. Human waste had blocked the pipes. Kroll was boiling body pieces from his most recent murder, four-year-old Marion Ketter, when he was arrested. Number seven, Richard Ramirez. In the 1980s, Richard Ramirez terrorized areas all over Los Angeles for more than a year. Do you know that Ramirez, who went by the moniker Night Stalker, would break into people's houses and brutally murder them, sometimes after raping them first? He murdered people as young as 20 and as old as 79. He preferred knives, machetes, tire irons, firearms, and even hammers as weapons. Ramirez never apologized for the crimes he committed. He was given a death sentence but passed away from lymphoma before he could be put to death. And number six, Robert Hansen. Robert Hansen, known in the media as the Butcher Baker, he was an American serial killer. He abducted, raped, and murdered 17 women in and around Alaska. He hunted them with such wilderness and the knife in such horrifying objects. He was diagnosed with insane depression and schizophrenic episodes. He was arrested and convicted, and he was sentenced to 461 years without any possibility of parole. He died in 2014 at the age of 75. Coming in at number 5, Robert Berdella. Robert Berdella, between 1984 and 1987, was the serial killer of Americas who kidnapped, raped, tortured, and murdered at least six young men in the period of six weeks only. As we can describe, his murders, the some of the darkest fantasies becoming my reality, he's known for as the Kansas City Butcher. He died from a heart attack in 1992. However, Berdella had started to develop some self-assurance by his mid-teens. Though he kept it a closely guarded secret, the realization that he was gay provided him with a certain amount of self-assurance. 
This confidence showed up as a nasty and arrogant attitude that he would maintain for the rest of his life, especially with women. Robert Berdella enrolled at the Kansas City Art Institute after receiving his high school diploma in 1967. He was finally ready to express himself and was out about his homosexuality in college. Number four, Fritz Harman. Fritz Harman was a German serial killer also known as the Butcher of Hanover, the Vampire of Hanover, and the Wolfman. He committed the sexual assault, murder, mutilation, and dismemberment of almost 24 young men and children in the city of Hanover. After that, we have guilty that he murdered 24 people for which he was tried and sentenced to death. He named and gave the titles to such bodies who were dismembered like the Vampire of Hanover, etc., because he preferred the method of murder of biting into the victim's throat. Number three, Jack the Ripper. Jack the Ripper was an unidentified serial killer. He was also known as the Leather Apron. So basically, he was involved with female prostitutes who worked and lived in East London. He cut their abdominal mutilations and removed the internal organs to gain some surgical knowledge. The term Jack the Ripper was first used in a letter that was published in the media and claimed to be authored by the murderer. It is generally accepted that the letter was a hoax and may have been created by journalists to generate more interest in the subject and boost the readership of their publications. Half of a preserved human kidney allegedly stolen from one of the victims was enclosed with the From Hell letter that George Lusk of the Whitechapel Diligence Committee received. Due in large part to the extreme brutality of the killings and the extensive media coverage of the crimes, the public began to believe more and more in a single serial killer known as Jack the Ripper. The killings remained unsolved, and the traditions that surrounded them eventually blended historical fact with folklore and pseudo-history to capture the public's imagination up until this day. Number 2. Chandra Kantja Ja, a serial killer in Delhi, India, he killed and dismembered 18 people from west of Delhi. When he first killed a person, he got arrested and held in jail for almost four years. After that, he was released because of the lack of evidence. He always becomes, befriends people, and helps them to find good jobs. But after some time, they dispute over things like lying, theft, or being non-vegetarian. And then he murders them. Chandra Kant took pleasure in challenging the police to apprehend him by scattering severed body parts over the city and outside Tihar jail with notes. There is a movie on Netflix too, named Indian Predator, The Butcher of Delhi, which was released on the 20th of July, 2022. And coming in at number one, Boone Helm. Boone was an American mountain man, Old West gunfighter and serial killer. Levi Boone Helm was also known as the Kentucky Cannibal. Helm got his moniker because of his opportunistic and unrepentant predilection for eating human flesh, mainly in survival situations. Though there are documented instances of his killing individuals without provocation for their meat. In the end, he was sentenced to execution by hanging. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed it so, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel and turn that notification bell on so you can watch the most interesting videos. These were the known butcher killers that we mentioned in the list, but there are many more who are not that famous, but may have killed people more than these. Tell us about it in the comments. Until next time, stay safe.